everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. Today I am back with another apartment renovation and another installment of our color drenched series. It's a series on the channel where I am trying to overwhelmingly use one color. It's not everything is that color, but uh, a very large portion. And today we are tackling a darker green, almost like a foresty green color. And uh, I have done a green apartment in this series already, but it was more like a pastel mint green and it was actually in this same apartment. But I have a completely different layout today and a very different style, so I hope you will enjoy this one. If you do and you'd like to download it, it is available on the Sims 4 Gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You can also find it under the hashtag Griffey, and that information will also be in the description down below as well. So today we are building in Pinecrest Apartments number 402, which is in Evergreen Harbor, which is the world that came with the Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack. And... I went for a little bit of a different layout in this one where the living space is at the back. There's kind of a large hallway when you first walk in and that's where the bedroom in the space is as well as the bathroom. And I've used this layout before, but it's been a while and it's one of my favorites because well, hallways are a little bit of a waste of space, I think they're quite realistic and I've seen so many apartments in real life that have this sort of layout where you enter into a large hallway. So I liked the idea of utilizing that here and I actually used this new wallpaper from the Cozy Bistro kit and a few other items from that kit to really make this house or this apartment pop because we did get this beautiful green color in that kit and so it worked perfectly. And then I'm also using the curtains from the Riviera Retreat kit. So a couple of new items being used in here and uh, I'm really proud of this one. I love this color. I really love green. It's one of my favorite colors and it always has been. So doing another all green apartment just made my heart happy. <laughs> so uh, yeah, in here I decided to really focus on the sim having a lot of plants because they're green. Uh, so there's going to be plants absolutely everywhere. And the furniture style is definitely more vintage inspired. I have some older pieces from vampires. I mix that in with some items from Crystal Creations. I'm using a ton of different packs in here, but I was going for older, older pieces that maybe didn't necessarily originally go together, but are paired together now in this apartment to have a little bit of an eclectic feel, but very, very green centric. I love the side table I put next to the couch there. That is from For Rent. And I also was excited to use this globe on the table. I cannot tell you the last time I used that globe. It's not an item I typically remember even exists, but I thought it worked really nicely in this space. I also have a little stool next to the couch with a tray on it. And then I'm trying to figure out what I want to have as our TV stand. I thought about having a dresser, but I ended up going with this side table from Crystal Creations. It's just the perfect style. Obviously, it matches the coffee table, and I just really enjoy the Crystal Creations stuff pack. I also really wanted to have this little coat closet by the front door. It is a regular closet in the game that came with, I believe, Movie Hangout. It doesn't end up staying there, but I do end up using it in the bedroom, so uh, I was glad to get the chance to use that. Uh, there was an update last year that allowed you to change windows in apartments, but for some reason on the Eco Lifestyle apartments, you can't change the ones that are on the same wall as the door. So I used the tool mod to go ahead and add a different one over there. And I'm going to be doing the same thing to change the front door to this apartment as well. I added a more dated TV with the bunny ears on top here in the living room, which is one of the ones you can get from the dumpsters in Eco Lifestyle. And then I also have a record player and I put a couple of crates of various records below the table as well for storage of those vinyls. I thought that that was a really fun idea. I also have a propagation station here, which is just a couple of plants that you're trying to grow uh, from the Blooming Rooms kit. I ended up using a lot from that because plants. Uh, and then I also added some amps over here and an acoustic guitar. I was kind of imagining it was an acoustic electric that's what my partner plays. So I have one of those in my living room. So I think it's pretty realistic. And then over here, I wanted to make sure to add a desk. I tried a few different ones, but I ended up going with this one from the horse ranch pack in the end because it matched the more like deep green a little bit better. And I put a couple of decorations on there, some books and a computer that looks like a typewriter. I also, of course, had to use my favorite hanging plant in the game, also from the Blooming Rooms kit. It is just so pretty. And I really wanted to use those, um, those like hanging herbs. 
uh, which I do end up using in the kitchen. Uh, but anyway, over here, I decided it would be really pretty to use these windows from the bistro kit to sort of frame out the entrance to the kitchen. And I am so glad I did that because I think it looks so pretty. I was so happy with that. Um, I think the items from that kit in particular are just beautiful, especially in the green swatch. When I did my first build with that kit, I made a pub and I used all the green windows and doors because it's just so pretty. And I'm actually deciding to use the chairs that came with that kit as well. So I just put one of those at the desk and I'm going to be using them again for a seating area in the kitchen, like a little table and chairs. So, uh, and then the bar back pieces I used as storage down that main hallway when you first enter, which I think worked out so, so nicely. Uh, and then I'm just kind of bouncing back and forth right now between the kitchen and the living room, trying to decide what things to put where and where I want to work on next because I wanted to clutter up those shelves above the couch, but I also wanted to get started on the kitchen. And uh, I ended up using this fridge, which I believe is from Growing Together because I really liked the gold handles on it. I felt like it worked really well with all of the other gold that I have in this apartment and matched perfectly with this backsplash, this tile that I put in the kitchen, which is from the High School Years expansion pack. Uh, so yeah, just combining a lot of things together to try and make this green and gold vibe come together. I do end up having a coffee pot in here, which is also from the Cozy Bistro kit, and then getting some clutter over here in the corner. So I have some knives, uh, some spices. I believe I get the like little scale for weighing ingredients. These are all from the, oh my goodness, what is it called? Home Chef Hustle Stuff Pack. Amazing stuff pack. That's also where the sink and the dish tray above it are from and to this little cookbook as well. Um, and then over on this counter, I of course had to add my favorite cutting boards. Those are from the Cool Kitchen Stuff Pack. I get that question a lot since I use them in pretty much every build just because they're a nice way to decorate a space without using up the actual slots on the counter. Your Sims can still use that because it's a wall decoration. Uh, and then this is the table and chairs that I used in here. I used the matching dining table in the kitchen that matches the side table I put next to the couch. I just really liked how cohesive that was. And I could imagine they got them as a set and they're just using them in different rooms. Anyway, back to the living room, trying to decorate these shelves. I do end up using some plants and some books, like my go-to things for decorating shelves. That smaller plant is going to be moving to the top shelf to go next to those books. I think it looks a little bit nicer that way. And I'm also going to be adding this little painting from Cottage Living up here to add a little bit more decoration. I like doing that and making it look like something is leaning on the top of the shelf, like leaning against the wall. So that was the idea here. And then I am adding two more of these bar back pieces here in the hallway and I'll be moving them down to be more central as well as getting this runner rug from Vampires and uh, just putting that down the length of the hallway, which I think looks really nice. It's also green, much like most of what I have in this apartment, but it's a slightly different shade, which I quite enjoyed. And this is where I'm changing the front door. I do end up using this front door from the For Rent expansion pack. It is a beautiful dark brown color that matches the rest of the interior. And I liked that in the stained glass in the top, there's a green swatch. And I was like, oh, that's perfect. <laughs> it ties in beautifully. Uh, and then just in the entryway, I have a mirror, a place for you to put your umbrella, a coat rack, temperature controls, fire alarm, all of the basic things that I tend to put here. I also put a place to hang up your keys and a place for your shoes to go. And uh, I wish we had more of these options. I am so glad we do have these now, though. I still think that the Everyday Clutter Kit is amazing because of all of the items in there that I use on a regular basis. It's just so good. But anyway, this is the bathroom. I am using the shower tub combo from Growing Together in here and the same counters that I used in the kitchen, which are from the Vampires pack. Uh, I didn't realize for a while that the counter, <laughs> the, the shower was not put all the way against the wall. So you'll see me fixing that here momentarily. And then I'm using the same mirror in here that I used in the living room, which is also from the Cozy Bistro Kit. I've been using it a lot lately because it is just so beautiful, but I couldn't not use it here with the gold and the green that it has in it. So... That is what I'm doing there. And then just getting a hamper here in the bathroom and some toilet paper and all sorts of decorations just to make the space feel more lived in and decorated. So there's a plunger. I know, very exciting. Um, and I'm trying to think what else I added. I'm pretty sure I got, yeah, storage cabinet up above the toilet and some towels in here as well. I thought that that one worked so nicely because of the gold rod and then the the green stripe on the towel. And then of course, getting some soap and toothbrushes and stuff. These are from the 
bathroom clutter kits. Another really good kit, in my opinion. I really like that they gave us some clutter kits. I know that's not the most popular opinion. A lot of people would have preferred kits that had bigger items in it, but I had been asking for a clutter stuff pack way before kits even became a thing. So I was really excited about those ones. Uh, anyway, I just made a little bath mat using those same runner rugs and we got a stand in here that has like magazines and stuff in it so that you could uh, read something while you're using the bathroom. <laughs> and then this is going to be the one and only bedroom in this space. I do still end up using this uh, closet piece that I wanted to use by the front door. And it ends up being directly next to the bed here, which I think looks so, so pretty. I love the like carving details on there. And uh, this is one of the better swatches in my opinion, because it's really neutral. Most of the swatches of this are really bright and colorful because it is from Movie Hangout, which has a very strong, colorful, bohemian vibe to it. Uh, so most of the swatches I do not use, but this swatch in particular I think is gorgeous. So I was excited to use it here. I just got a bedside table, a little piece of art up above the bed, and uh, a matching lamp to the standing lamp we have in the living room that are both from the Vampires game pack. I also wanted to add like some clutter on the bedside table, so I got some books and a clock, and I'm trying to think what else I put over there. Maybe a phone or something. Uh, those are some of the like go-to clutter items. Oh no, I got a plant. <laughs> I think that looks pretty cute. And then of course, getting a mirror on the wall over here. This one is from Jungle Adventure. It's one of my favorites. And then I've been really enjoying these prints from the Cozy Bistro kit. I just think they are so pretty and I feel like they're going to be overused by me in coming builds. I just, I can't help myself. I really, really enjoy those. And same thing with this mirror. <laughs> so I think this is like my second build in this week. There's going to be another one coming up in the next couple of days that uh, overuses these mirrors, but I just really enjoy them, so I'm excited to have them and have the option to use them. So hopefully it doesn't get too exhausting, uh, but I'm excited to share that build as well. Uh, but yeah, just decorating our our dresser in here with some more plants, some storage, and I think some more plants. Yeah, I just get a lot of plants in here. I think it looks really nice. And then I get an ottoman under the window here. I believe the one I grab is from Horse Ranch because it has a nice green top with the dark wood base. And then we are into the hallway where I'm getting another piece of artwork here, also from Cozy Bistro. And then we are decorating the shelves out here. I end up getting mostly plants to nobody's surprise. Uh, I think they fill in the shelves nicely. I also end up getting some like storage boxes and some books. I just wanted this to feel like a catch-all area that your Sims could store stuff in since it's not like the biggest apartment. So having extra storage like this, I think is really important and very realistic in my opinion. So yeah, just going through the catalog and finding some things to fill in this space with. I got some extra plates in here. I just think it looks quite nice. And then over in this little corner, the last bit, I add a plant, a lamp, and a bookcase. And that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.